on the turnaround. See the C-130 taxiing over there? That is actually the replacement aircraft for uh, Fat Albert. Those of you that have seen the Blue Angels before and their, their blue and white aircraft called Fat Albert, flown by the United States Marine Corps. Someone asked yesterday, where's Fat Albert? Well, there was a Blue Angel up here that had the answer. He's in hard maintenance, going through some uh, ADs, basically the wing pull AD, rebuilding the wings. So he'll be back out in the world before very long. And coming down the line, ladies and gentlemen, in the convertibles, the Geico Sky Typers. Give them a great big round of applause when they come by for the beautiful job they've done for you this afternoon in those T6s. Great job, fellas. Let them know, folks. Let them know. All right, down on the east end. Gear down, you can see it in the jumbos, the P-40 Warhawk coming into land. When he comes past, give him a great big round of applause too for demonstrating that beautiful aircraft for you here today. And again, keep in mind, these performers, these aircraft, all of the hard work and hours that go into this are all volunteers. They're here for free with their high price equipment and their time to put on a show to show you folks the way it was back in the day and to preserve these historic, beautiful flying aircraft. to give a big welcome to Alpina Watch, our 2017 official timekeeper. Visit them in Warbird Country at Michael Goulian's display. Founded in 1883, Alpina is one of the oldest and most respected manufacturers of fine time. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, pedal to the metal, Mr. Art Knowles at 600. Qualified in the T2C, the TA4 in the Lexington, he got his wings of gold. While on a training mission attached to the VMA 231 squadron, here is the barrel roll. Up to the right now starts feet again, a little right heel around, right rudder, rolls around the barrel. This particular Sea Harrier was bill number 91202. It was delivered to the Royal Navy May 10th of 1979 with Art Knowles of the Sea Harrier. So there's no talking 
because what's going to happen? Hart's going to bring the airplane in. He's going to hover. He's going to back it up. He's going to do a pedal turn. And let's see if he bows to the crowd. If he bows to the crowd, everybody put your hands in the air and give him a wave, signifying that you recognize his courtesy and bow to the crowd. You'll probably see some black smoke emanating out of the nozzles, and you can see the two outrigger little landing gear on each wingtip. And like I said, there are also nozzles on the wingtips to help with the stability of the ADB here. This is the seat. All right, so we get noisy, so just watch. What did you think of the sea harrier? Nice little wave there. The sea harrier with Art Knowles. We'll be right back. Watch the Jumbotrons or around the world on live TV. Here you go. of the Bahamas. We'd like to thank the following people for their 
support of Sun and Fun, Signature Flight Support, Nikon, Experience Kissimmee, Lazy Days, Gulf Coast Avionics, Trader Plane, Sarasota Avionics, The Pilot Mall, and Aircraft Spruce and Specialty Company. Also like to thank Clarity Aloft headsets in Hangar B in booth 83, ladies and gentlemen. Our Airboss is up there using the Clarity Aloft headset. Nice, crisp, clear sounds to control the aircraft here at Sun and Fun. All right, I think we're just about ready. Dave Kime takes the mic to tell us about something. We go from loud to quiet. Oh, there he is. He's wearing that Clarity Aloft headset up there controlling the show. We've got a couple of aircraft to get out that are trying to leave before it gets dark to get home for them because they're a long way away. Jumbotrons when we get ready to go. David Martin taxing out as we get our A-10. And our, there goes Art Knowles off from the sea barrier lives up on the East Coast, up in the Virginia area, outside of Washington. 